All right, what's going on guys? So I wanna go over a quick Google trick that I use to decrease my CPAs by 40%. Um, drop a like, comment down below if you have any questions about Google Ads. So this is one of the accounts that I'm working on. This is for a DMV in California. Um, they do basically dealer license, vehicle dealer licenses for people who want to, you know, like sell used cars, um, go to dealer auctions, basically just make money. It's literally it. Um, you can also use these licenses for your own family's cars. So you can basically like deflect DMV fees and taxes, um, not insurance, taxes and fees from DMVs and like state fees on the car. Um, so with most campaigns, like you'll pick, you know, multiple keywords that are very like narrow. So the client was originally running ads that were very exact matches or phrase matches, which means that. Basically, he's only targeting people who are searching that word and that word only, or an exact match or a phrase match, not a broad match. A broad match is basically saying like, hey, if they search dealership license, it can find words just like it. So that's why they call it broad. If it's a phrase match or an exact match, it means that they have to search that exact phrase or that phrase has to match within a, like a longer phrase. I do things a little bit differently just because I don't want to spread myself too narrow. Um, and he's getting about 80 to $85 CPAs. So keep that in mind when I show you what I do. Um, my biggest thing is <clears throat> no matter what niche you're in, as long as it's been proven enough to be scalable, you're going to have enough. There's no, there's enough money to go around. So you never have to worry about like, oh, is this like too narrow to the point where I shouldn't be doing so much broad. And right now, like Google's telling me that I'm limited by budget because they know my scalability because of the results I'm already getting. So within my campaign, <clears throat> I do at least a hundred keywords. Now, obviously there's ones that I'll wean out. Like for example, online car dealers, it's probably not the best broad match to use. Online used cars, probably not the best because they could be looking at car gurus, other things like that. Um, I will use a hundred different keywords. And as you can see here, I have some here that are getting 96 cent conversion, $7 conversion, $2, $2, $2, $8. Now, why is that? Because I'm using broad match. I'm basically using any word under the sun by using competitors, putting in the links of, you know, competitors, landing pages, competitors, ads, their landers. Um, I'm using broad matches and then using relevant keywords. I'm not doing exact or phrase matches. I'm only doing broad. Um, broad allows it to be more scalable just because like if there could be someone who's looking for that thing, but they're also searching something else. Um, and you know, in one of my next videos, I'm going to show you another Google ad account that I kind of do the same thing, but it's a small trick, um, where I take like one word from, well, we'll get into that, but, um, so now with this being said, like I have the same ad groups made, same ads, same text, same descriptions. The target CPAs are under what he's currently getting. But right now I have this one getting $16, a conversion $27, and this one's getting $67. This one has zero. So I'm gonna be looking over that over the next couple of days. You know, cost per click is a lot lower, so it allows more data to go into the, you know, to the Google. Um, ads themselves and then if I want to retarget and do like all visitors that's gonna make a lot of money um, and because of this if we go to the overview I'm getting about $47 a conversion and I can also move unused budgets to optimize my score now these optimization scores don't really matter much but the fact that just by using broad targeting uh, I'm getting cheaper cost per click cheaper cost per conversion allows us to scale find new buyers and tap into probably an extra 20 to 40 percent of people in California who are searching other keywords that basically never saw these. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, and um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks.